Hello, civil engineers. Uh, today we're talking about mining. And I'm going to show you a free way to calculate the RMR89, uh, RMR14, and the Q system method for um, calculating stand up time and classifying um, excavations in mining situations. So if you go to www.civils.ai, and you're going to land on this page, and you can come up here to calculators. And these are a set of free calculators for engineers. So you have geotechnical, structural. We're going to go to tunneling, and then we're going to click mine to tunnel calculator up here. And what we do once we've loaded this is we're going to be able to input the geometry of the mine or the tunnel, which we're considering. So we can enter things like the span, so the width of the excavation itself. Um, or the tunnel. We can enter the rock uh, um, ultimate uh, compressive strength here. We can enter the joint spacing right here. So it's set deep by default was 20 millimeters. And we can set the joint conditions. So they can be very rough, slightly rough, etc. You can set the water ingress and the joint orientation in regards to uh, the direction of the tunnel. There's more advanced settings, let's say. Then what we're going to do here is we're actually going to automatic, uh, automatically calculate for you the RMR um, rating. So the RMR 89 rating, in this case, it's coming out as 43. It's predicting it as a fair rock, so grade three. And then it's going to tell us some um, very estimated, so this is all very high level for feasibility studies, early stage planning. So the unsupported stand-up time, so between five hours and seven days the SEL thickness that could be required in this case to support the excavation, rock bolt uh, specifications, and then a rough construction sequence. And you can see below here how it's actually being calculated. So let's say for the RMR89 method, where our different scores are here. So we have a score for the UCS, the inter intact rock, discontinuity spacing, RQD, discontinuity condition, water ingress, joint orientation. All of this is based on the various inputs we, we enter here. And then you can see these charts are being used um, because the RMR method is obviously a very empirical method. Um, it follows these kinds of chart profiles here. So we're using our UCS that we've input to calculate our uh, RMR score for the in the UCS perspective. Similarly for joint spacing, we're using this here, the charts. Um, and as you come down, you can see how we're calculating these things here. Discontinuity, water ingress, joint orientation, these all use tables. Um, they're still empirical methods. We can also convert this into RMR14 and uh, Q method as well. So let's hit Q method. Um, and you can see over here, we can set the ESR value. So by default, it's set as like a large tunnel or a tunnel portal. But you can update that so it could be for different uh, underground conditions. And then we're calculating our Q rating automatically here. And again, giving us some idea of the uh, support uh, supports that will be required for this kind of tunnel or mining operation. Um, and there's empirical charts linking between RMR 89 to RMR 14, RMR 14 to Q method. Um, again, very empirical. I hope you found this interesting. If you have any comments or any feedback or any features you'd like us to build on top of all of this, uh, please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you find this uh, free calculator useful. Goodbye.